We just wanted to talk to you guys about something. You may have noticed that we've been posting a little bit less. We promised that we would keep it real with you guys. All right, Mal. <laughs> How have you been lately? I'm, well. Good morning, guys. We just woke up. We did a little tummy time and play time with Addie. Mal made some morning coffee and she is ready for a nap. We just started using the nursery, I don't know, like a month ago, and it's pretty fun because now she can sleep in the nursery. There's definitely a lot we have to talk about today. We're just taking it a little bit slow, but there's some things that we've been meaning to tell you guys. But first, let's start with putting baby Addie to sleep. Are you ready for a nap? We are in the nursery. She was just screaming at me because that's just how she gets when she's tired. But that's okay, isn't it? You guys are about to witness our nap time ritual. Basically, I just turn the lights off. I pace back and forth because pacing really makes her tired for some reason. Also, we've been putting her down to nap, not fully asleep so that she like trains to put herself to sleep. And it's been working. It's been working, so let's go. Hey Alexa, show me the nursery. As you can see, she's still awake, but the, the hope is that she'll put herself to sleep. Okay guys, this nursery camera setup that we have is so cool because that camera is called the Nanit Pro and it connects to Alexa devices. So if you have an Alexa screen like this, you can just have it always going, which is so nice. When we're watching movies, we just have that going and it's nice because we can just kind of keep track of her. And also another kind of weird quirk about this screen is that it like follows you around the room so let's say I want to walk over there. It will follow me to make sure that I can still see the screen. So I'll go this way and it follows me. That's just so cool. You can also use your phone to monitor the baby and that's really convenient too. Also, Mallory made me this nice cup of coffee. Look at that. It has been about 30 minutes and baby Adeline is asleep, as you can see. Look at that. Oh, she just spat the pacifier out. Oh, oh she just woke up. Oh my gosh. You just jinxed it. I know, I jinxed it. Wait, no, she's gonna go back to sleep. Okay, she's been doing this weird thing where like halfway through her nap, she spits out the pacifier, legitimately halfway through the nap, and then she continues to go back to sleep. I feel like it's like the pacifier gets her through like the first half, and then the halftime show happens and she wakes up for a second, spits it out, and then she's like, back into the game and falls back asleep. <laughs> All right, we just wanted to talk to you guys about something. You may have noticed that we've been posting a little bit less. We didn't post a YouTube video last week and we have not been posting shorts every day. And there's a reason for that. It's not just because we're lazy. We have started to recently discover that Mallory has been going through some things. And so we just wanted to kind of, you know, touch up on that and talk about it a little bit. We're not gonna give every detail under the sun because we don't have to, but you know, um, we wanna keep you guys in the know and keep you guys in the loop. We promised that we would keep it real with you guys, so. And we want to do that. We're not yeah. doing it because we feel obligated. No, but not at all. We want to keep you guys in the loop because that's what we've always done. Mm -hmm. And we always want to keep things as honest and real as possible so that people will not feel alone. That's like our hope mm -hmm. in all of it. Before you guys say, you don't have to tell us anything. Just do your thing. Don't worry about we're it. We're choosing you to. Want to. Yeah, we're you choosing want to. to. All right, Mal. Uh -huh. How have you been lately? Well, I want to say I have postpartum depression, but I don't know that. It's not like officially diagnosed. Yeah, it's been more of a recent discovery of me coming to terms with it. I think the best way that I can sp explain it is like the first, I mean our kids three months, a little over three months now. And the first probably I'd say two months, I was just in like survival mode, you know? And only focused on the baby and like my new role as a mom and breastfeeding and all these things that I don't like have time to think about how I'm doing. You know, it was just my kid is my priority and I was focusing on maybe my physical health and healing and not really like the mental health aspect of it. And she's been getting into a routine and so my external environment is saying like, you should be happier, like you should be kind of like leveling out, getting more energy and like, you know, 
being in good spirits a little more because things are not as hard and it's not feeling that way internally. It's actually getting worse. Some of the symptoms they talk about with postpartum depression is like the inability to find joy in really anything or specifically things that you should be finding joy in. Uh, a general lack of energy, a general lack of motivation. Even down to the symptoms of like confusion and like memory loss, like I legit have that. Like yeah. I'm just like in like a dazed and confused state of mind. Baby Adeline just woke up. We're gonna watch her put baby Adeline back to sleep. Hopefully you guys can see this. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the glare. It looks like Mal was successful-ish. Yay, she did a good job. High five, Mal. Let's go, what a queen. We've also noticed that we've been getting into a lot more fights lately, and it's not because of her just being postpartum. There's a lot of reasons for that. And like I said, we don't wanna to go too deep into it, but yesterday we sat down and we just kind of talked and about everything, really, and realized you know, we need to recenter our marriage and our relationships with Christ. Yeah, so that's kind of where we stand with like life and our marriage. But when it comes to my mental health, um, next steps, I'm reaching out to my OB and seeing whether that's like counseling or possible medication. I mean, I need it, an official diagnosis for sure mm -hmm. first. Just as far as that goes is seeking out more help um, other than just people in my community. I think the biggest step was coming to terms with it and not dismissing the way that I felt because for the longest time I was like, oh, it's just because I'm not getting sleep or it's just because breastfeeding has been difficult, which like all those can play into it. But I think once I stopped being in denial of it and accepting the fact that I'm like not okay, I think that's where like real help is going to come into play. Yeah. So, so that's where I'm at. We've also been trying to take it a little easy. So like I said in the beginning, why we haven't been posting as much, we're trying to take it a little easier. And we're trying to put Mal's mental health and our marriage first. Mal's birthday is also coming up really soon. In how many days from now? What day is it today? Four days. Four days. Mal's gonna be turning 19 years old. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, wow. I'm just kidding. Mal's gonna be turning 23. You know what's kind of funny? Hmm. Um, in a weird, twisted way is the other day when I broke down to Cameron about how I think I had postpartum depression, I was <laughs> explaining how I don't find joy in like really anything, Ugh. but there is one thing and that is pickleball. <laughs> pickleball has been healing Mal's postpartum depression. I'm not kidding. I am 100% serious. Pickleball has been the one thing that consistently brings me joy. <laughs> like so funny to say out loud but it's real because you get the vitamin d you get good exercise and i'm naturally a competitive person so i love to like play sports right so all three of those things in one activity so maybe we could play some pickleball today oh we will do whatever you want to do <laughs> enough of the sitting down and talking let's get back to this day in the life and if at any point we kind of skip some recording, it's because we're taking it easy. Thank you guys for the check-ins mm -hmm. on me and asking if I'm okay. I am okay. I'll be okay. All right, we both got fully ready for the day and we are gonna go take Mallory to go get something that she's been wanting for a long time. We are gonna get Mal a pair of tennis shoes and a new pickleball paddle because as you guys heard earlier, pickleball is the one thing that's helping her with the postpartum depression. So let's go get her that stuff. Are you ready? I'm really excited. All right, we have made it to Courtside Tennis, one of the few stores that actually sells pickleball equipment. We've been here for a very long time and Mal finally found her pair of shoes. Excited? Yeah, I can actually really tell a difference. We just got all of Mal's pickleball stuff. Feel like a real pickleballer. Real pickleballer. Yeah. And then we're gonna go celebrate with some McDonald's and Taco Bell. Do not judge us in the comments. <laughs> we have not eaten fast food in at least a week.
So Mal and I just got some pickleball in because like we said, pickleball is basically the only thing that brings Mal any amount of joy whatsoever. <laughs> and Mal's gonna do something else that brings her joy and she's gonna have a little girls night, right? Right. And they're gonna go get some wine, right? Right, that's why I'm bringing this bottle. Yeah, so for everyone that wants to freak out on Mal for drinking alcohol, what, what is going on here? I am bringing a bottle for her so that I can drink wine in peace. <laughs> We have been here for about two hours. I did not record when we first got here, but I'm with these two lovely ladies. And we're having such a good night. Thankfully, Cameron took Island, which is absolutely amazing. I do kind of miss her, but I also really enjoy time with friends away from her, sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're having a really great time. <laughs> so I will see you when we get home. Okay, we just made it back Woo! from Betty's. Betty. Oh. oh. <laughs> Betty. Betty's wine know. bar. Betty. Betty. Betty's wine bar. <laughs> um, and we got some lovely Chick Fil A. Yes. And a very expensive bottle of wine. Yes, very expensive <laughs> bottle of wine that we will not name the price, but it was <laughs> worth it. And then we watched Bridesmaids, yes. and it was a great, <laughs> successful girls' night. Woo! Plus, Plus Ezra. Ezra. <laughs> Plus Ezra. Say hi, Ezra. Hi. 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 Oh Can you say hi? Say, this is Ezra, and we're out. Boo. 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 Boo.